In a typical year, most sugarcane farmers will replant 15 to 20 percent of their acreage, with the rest of their crop regrowing from the stubble left from the previous year. They grow their own seed cane, and the amount needed will depend upon the length, diameter, and stalk density of the seed cane. So far, the weather is cooperating. Planting ratios are well above average. We haven't had any significant rainfall or wind to lay the crop down. So the, the cane is planting really well. Cane farmers like to have a ratio of one acre of seed cane for at least every five acres planted. This year's numbers are much better than last year's. I'm hoping to, to end, you know, in between that seven, eight to one. Last year, man, it was uh, probably three to one. What was, was three to four was the best uh, it got. Morris is expected to plant more than 700 acres, which is a big number for him. Muddy harvest conditions from previous seasons are the main reason for the increase. We had to plow out some stuff that we really didn't, uh, really wasn't ready for, but a couple of harvests ago, we kind of tore up some stuff and dealt with it for a couple of years, and it was just uh, time to upgrade. Farmers need to finish planting fairly soon so they can turn their attention to the harvest, which is beginning earlier and earlier. The first mills are going to uh, begin harvesting on September the 15th. That's less than a month away. So uh, we need some dry weather. Uh, we need Mother Nature to keep the tropics away from us. Increasing acreage statewide is the primary reason mills are starting so early. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.